Okay, normally if I was making a video like this, I would just start telling the story and the video would be over with. But instead, why not tell it like my English teacher would want me to tell it? Have some kind of thing that drags the viewer in at the beginning and keeps them entertained. Oh, by the way, have you ever made a mistake that you uh, regretted, but you didn't regret it because it was ridiculous and you kind of blame the other party? because of how ridiculous the reaction was but it wasn't ridiculous but at the same time it was because we live in a society yeah me too in april 2018 youtuber kid behind the camera no this is not a face reveal that is not me made a video about how he pranked his dad the angry grandpa with a fake bomb now you would assume it's a prank and nothing would go wrong but the problem is he filmed him he filmed the driver handing the package to his dad, and it's where basically you know that's where he messed up. Why don't you ask the UPS driver? Brilliant idea, I thought. UPS pulls up to the house. Dad walks up to the UPS driver. He hands him the package. The guy says that he shouldn't open it. Hands it back to him, and that's what I filmed. Okay, now what does this have anything to do with my story? Well, like I said, you need a hook to, uh, this is, uh, uh, get, get, get your viewers' attention. Instead of just me, um, saying, um, 50,000 times in the video, which I've probably already done. But what does this bomb story have to do with my story? Well, you probably already guessed, and that's Yeah, so I literally just wrote a bomb thread on the table at school. That's pretty much the story. Well, that's how I wanted the story to go. Girl, I'm just cool. I'm so mad. I can't believe someone would make a joke like that. I would imagine that was their reaction when they saw Cutie Caterpillar pointing at the message bomb in cafeteria omin ominously on the, on the marker. Uh, school desk marker drawing. Now, here's a short song I made to tell you what happens next. Now that I think about it, I won't show you that. Basically, what happened next is I was in there, they evaluated me, they searched me, and then they said, uh, so basically you're suspended for the rest of the month and then you're going to have a hearing where we decide whether we're going to expel you or not for the rest of the year. Aside from the hearing, that's the end of the story. I did end up recording it uh, because people for some reason wanted me to record it on Discord. I might release that soon. Of course I'll have to edit some things for privacy. But there's another thing I wanted to talk about. This is the working thumbnail for a video I said I was going to make, but I never made because I realized the story was so short, just like this one, that I don't know if it would be entertaining. But if it gets enough demand, if people want to see it, I'll make a video on it.